Now let us see how to multiply two decimal numbers without using the picture. Now, for example, 0 0.73 is multiplied by 5. Now we will multiply 0 0.73 as usual multiplication by 5. Then 5 3 is 15 and 5 7 are 35 plus 1 36. Then 5 0 is 0 plus 3. 3 then we get 365 now in the multiplicand after decimal point there are two digits so here in the product also we will place the decimal point such that there will be two digits after the decimal point so we place the decimal point here then after the decimal point there are two digits now this is the multiplication of a decimal number with any whole number now if there are two decimal numbers for example 0 point or 9.32 into 1.2 so when there are two decimal numbers the 9.32 is multiplied by 1.2 by considering these two as the whole numbers now we will multiply by two first then 2 2 are 4 2 3 are 6 2 9 are 18 then we will multiply by 1 so 1 2 are 2 1 3 are 3 and 1 nines are 9 so we will add these two 4 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 3 11 and 1 plus 9 10 plus 1 11 then in the multiplicand there are two digits after the decimal point in the multiplier there is only one digit after the decimal point so overall there will be three digits now in the product we should place the decimal point such that there will be three digits after the decimal point so before one before three digits we should place the decimal point one two three so the product is 11.184 now multiplication of decimal numbers by 10, 100, 1000, etc. So how to multiply any decimal number by numbers such as 10, 100, 1000 or 10,000 or 1 lakh. For example, 3.45 is multiplied by 10. So then 3.45 can be written as 345 by 100 into 10. So yeah, 0, 0 get cancelled, then we get 345 by 10. So that is same as 34.5. Now, if the same numbers 3.45 is multiplied by 100, so then we get 3.45 can be written as 345 by 100 into 100. Here 100, 100 get cancelled, then we get 345. So if the same digit, three, same number 3.45 is multiplied by 1000. So then 3.45 can be written as 345 by 100 into 1000. Here two zeros, two zeros cancel, then we get 345 into 10, 3450. Now let us see the product of 3.45 by 10, 100 and 1000. Now when you multiply 3.45 by 10, so then here in the given number 10 there is only one zero. So that is why the decimal point is shifted right by one digit. So then 3.45 when it is multiplied by 10 then we get 34.5. Now when 3.45 is multiplied by 100 as there are two zeros in the given number 100, the decimal point is shifted two digits to the right. So then we get 345.0 means 345. So when the decimal number 3.45 is multiplied by 1000, then the decimal point is shifted three digits to the right. As there are three zeros in the given number 1000, then the product became now 3450.0. Now, if you multiply 72.368 by 10, then decimal 
as there is only one zero in the number so decimal point will be shifted one digit to the right then we get 723.68 now when 72.368 is multiplied by 100 so as there are two zeros in the 100 then decimal point will be shifted two digits to the right so then we get 7236 7236.8 Now when 72.368 is multiplied by 1000 as there are three zeros in the given number so then decimal point will be shifted three digits to the right then we get 72368.0 Now let us see the division of decimal numbers for example we have a cloth of length 9.6 cm and you have to cut the cloth into pieces of 1.6 centimeters each then how many pieces can you cut in the cloth of length 9.6 centimeters then we need to divide 9.6 by 1.6 so in our day to day life we need to divide one decimal number by other decimal number or one whole number by the decimal number or we, can, we need to divide any decimal number by any whole number now let us learn how to divide the decimal numbers. Division of decimal numbers. Now first let us see the division of decimal numbers by 10, 100, 1000 etc. Now for example 3.46 or 23.46 is divided by 10. Now this equals to 23.46 can be written as 2346 by 100 and when you take the division as multiplication symbol then we write the reciprocal of 10 that is 1 by 10. Now this equals to 2346 by 100 into 10,000. Now this can be written as 2.346. Now when you divide 23.46 by 100. So this equals to. Now 23.46 can be written as 2346 by 100. And this division is changed as multiplication, then we have to write the reciprocal of 100 that is 1 by 100. Now, this equals to 2346 ones are 2346 by 100 into 100, 10,000. Then we write this as 0 0.2346. Now when you divide 20 any decimal number by number such as 10, 100, 1000 so then decimal point will be shifted as many digits as there are zeros in the number. So in the given number 10 there is only one zero so then the decimal point is shifted one digit to the left. So then it became 2.346. Now when you divide the decimal number by 100 so there are two zeros in the number 100 so decimal point will be shifted two digits left then the quotient became now 0 0.2346 now when you divide 46 point or 468.34 by 10 so then there is only one zero in the given number so decimal point will be shifted one digit to the left so then the quotient is 46.834.
So when 468.34 is divided by 100, so there are two zeros in the given number 100. So decimal point will be shifted two digits to the left. So then we get the quotient as 4.6834. So when 468.34 is divided by 1000, so there are three zeros in the given number 1000, so decimal point will be shifted three digits to the left. So then we get 0 0.46834. So when you multiply the decimal numbers by the numbers such as 10, 100, 1000, then the decimal point will be shifted to the right as many digits as there are zeros. So when you divide the decimal numbers by 10, 100, 1000 etc. then the decimal point will be shifted to the left as many digits as there are zeros. Now let us see the division of decimal numbers by whole numbers. Division of decimal number by whole number. For example, 6.4 is divided by 2. Here, yeah, 6.4 is the decimal number which is divided by the whole number 2. So then we write 6.4 as 64 by 10 and we write the division as multiplication then we write the reciprocal of 2 that is 1 by 2. Now here we can cancel 2 1s are 2 and 2 3 are 6 2 2 are 4 then 32 1s are 32 by 10 so we get 3.2 or when you divide 12.96 by 4 so here also we apply the same rule now 12.96 12.96 can be written as 1296 by 100 into 1 by 4. Now here 1296 and 4 you can cancel. 4 1s are 4, 4 3 are 12, 4 2 are 8, 4 4 are 16. So then we get 324 1s are 324 by 100 1s are 100. So when you divide any number by 100, we have to place the decimal point before 2 digits here. 3.2. 2, so the quotient is 3.24 or we can normally divide 6.4 by 2 now here 2 3 are 6 remainder 0 then we are carrying 4 here so when you carry 4 when you carry any number after the decimal point so in the quotient also we have to play the decimal point then 2 2 are 4 the remainder is 0 the quotient is 3.2 so in this case also 12.96 is divided by 4. Now 4 3s are 12, remainder 0. Then we are carrying 9 after the decimal point. Then in the quotient also we must place the decimal point. Then 4 2s are 8, 1, then carry 6. And 4 4s are 16, and the remainder is 0. So the quotient is 3.24. Now let us divide a decimal number by another decimal number. So division of a decimal number by another decimal number. Now let us divide 6.96 by 0 0.6. Now this equals to here 6.96 is a decimal number and even 0 0.6 also a decimal number. So we divide a decimal number by another decimal number. Now let us see how to divide 6.96 can be written as 696 by 100 divided by 0 0.6 can be written as 6 by 10. Now 696 by 100 
and when you write the division as multiplication then we have to write the reciprocal of 6 by 10 that is 10 by 6 here 0 0 get cancelled and we can cancel 696 by 6 now 6 1 the 6 6 1 the 6 6 1 the 6 3 remainder 3 left here 36 6 6 are 36 so we get 116 by 10 so this equals to 11.6 so when you divide 6.96 by 0 0.6 so we got here 11.6 as the quotient now let us solve the next question and the other question so when you divide 332.08 by 0 0.4 so here also we can write 32.08 we can write 3208 by 100 divided by 0 0.4 can be written as 4 by 10 and this equals to 3208 by 100 into so when you write the division as multiplication we have to write the reciprocal of 4 by 10 that is 10 by 4 so here also we can cancel 0 and 0 so we can cancel 4 1s are 4, 4 8s are 32, 0, 4 2s are 8. So this equals to 802 by 10. So this equals to 80.2. So far we have learnt how to multiply the decimal number by whole number and multiplication of two decimal numbers and multiplication of decimal numbers the number such as 10, 100, 1000 and also the division of a decimal number by whole number and division of two decimal numbers and also the division of a decimal number by the number such as 10, 100, 1000 etc. Now let us solve few problems based on all these concepts. Now the first question solve the following. So 168.07 into 10. So when a decimal number is multiplied by 10, 100, 1000 etc then the decimal point will be shifted towards right by as many digits as there are zeros in the given number so in the given number 10 there is one zero so decimal point will be shifted to the right by one digit then we get the product as 1680.7 so it is 1680.7 now when you multiply 131.1 by 100 so there are two zeros in the given number 100 so decimal point will be shifted two digits to the right then we get 131 so one digit 1 and the second digit 0 then point 0 so this equals to 1000 0 means 13110 the next question thirty two point four divided by hundred. So when any decimal number is divided by ten, hundred, thousand, etc., then the decimal point will be shifted to the left by as many zeros as as many digits as there are zeros in the number. So there are two zeros in the given number hundred, then the decimal point will be shifted to the left by two digits then we get 0 0.324 for the next question 4921.62 divided by 1000 so here also the decimal number is divided by 1000 there are three zeros in the number so decimal point will be shifted so when 4921.62 divided by 1000 so here also the decimal point will be shifted to the left by three digits because there are three zeros in the number so then the question becomes now 4.92162 now the next question 6.248 is divided by 10 so here also the decimal point will be shifted one digit to the left then we get 0 0.6248 Now the next question, solve the following, here the, in each problem a decimal number is multiplied by the whole number. So when you multiply any decimal number by whole number, so it is same as the 
normal multiplication by the whole number and we have to place the decimal point in the product now 4 7 28 4 9 36 plus 2 38 and 4 1 4 plus 3 7 so there is only one digit after the decimal point in the multiplicand so here also we place the decimal point before one digit now the second question 2.71 is multiplied by 5 so 2.71 into 5 5 ones are 5 5 sounds are 30 35 and then 5 to the 10 plus 2 5 to the 10 plus 3 13 and there are two digits after the decimal point so in the product also we place the decimal point before two digits so the product is 13.55 next 2 is multiplied by the decimal number 0 0.86 so 0 0.86 is multiplied by 2 2 6 are 12 2 is 16 plus 1 17 2 0 0 plus 1 1 so then in the multiplicand there is there are two digits after the decimal point so even in the product we place the decimal point before two digits from the right so the product is 1.72 next 0 0.05 is multiplied by 7 7 5 are 35 7 0 0 plus 3 3 7 0 0 so in the multiplicand there are two digits after decimal point even in the product also we place the decimal point such that there are two digits after the decimal point so the product is 0 0.35 now let us solve the next question solve the following 0 0.2 into 210.8 so here the two decimal numbers are multiplied so how to multiply two decimal numbers so here 210.8 is multiplied by 0 0.2 then so we multiply using the normal multiplication method first we will multiply by 2 2 8 are 16 2 0 0 plus 1 1 2 1 are 2 and 2 2 are 4 then we will multiply by 0 0 into 8 0 0 into 0 0 0 into 1 0 0 into 2 0 6 1 2 4 0 now in the given multiplicand so there is one digit after the decimal point and in the multiplier there is one digit after the decimal point so totally there should be two digits after the decimal point in the product 